I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss seven properties of limits. Now students come from different schools to me and now since I have put my videos on internet students from different countries are watching them. Now these properties or limits I have numbered them 1 to 7 but the order is not significant. In some books I have also seen that even the properties the seven mentioned here do not match. Well, these are just the properties and we should never code these properties with their corresponding numbers. We will give them a name and it is always good to use uh, the description of the property when you are using limits and especially if the question is solve the question using limits. Well, let's discuss these uh, properties and I'll tell you how my list of properties can match with your list of properties. Okay. Now these list of properties are valid for the function if and only if. So we say if limits exist for f of x and g of x as x approaches a then only these properties are valid and amongst these properties you will also find c and c is a constant for me. Limit for a constant is always the same constant right. So remember that part those things we call basic limits. So I will add here to list of my properties as uh, basic limits, right? So I have two basic limits here. So one of the basic limit is which I'm going to discuss in another video. So one of the basic limits is, let me take the other pen, is that limit of a constant as x approaches a, limit of constant in our case c, is C right this is the basic limit and then we have limit for a line so limit of a function f of x equals to x when x equals to a is equals to a do you see that part now we'll discuss this in details but these two are my basic limits now it's good to give them here since you will find in some books that when we talk about properties of limits, we treat them as property number 1 and 2, maybe 1 and 2 in different order, right? So to make them 7, they club these two properties, they say plus and minus, and they, yeah, kind of, but they get the same number as 7. So in books, you'll find basic limits, which I'm talking about, as properties, right? So anyway, nothing is wrong here. These are not the laws. So let's remember, these are just the properties which we can mention in any order but we should know how to mention or describe them so let's go through the description one by one in the first property I'm trying to say here that the limit of the sum of the functions is equals to sum of limit of functions do you see that so if I have let us say function fx and fgx then the limit combined limit of this combination limit of this is individual sum of their limits right and of course limit of each should exist and that is why we have the very first statement here now with that in mind we can now go through this list of seven properties quickly right so tell me how are you going to read the second property mentioned here so I'll say that the limit of difference is the difference of limits right so the limit of difference fx minus gx is difference of their individual limits as x approaches a. Perfect. Third one is that if you multiply the function by a constant, the limit of constant times the function is equal to limit of the function times the constant, right? In this case, it is product of limit is, so the limit of product of functions is product of their individual limits as x approaches a right so that is how you have to read them once you read them you can write the description against the properties I will discourage you to write numbers for properties which could be there in your textbook because you know textbook follows a pattern but in general if it is in some exam or test then use this description that is to say the limit of a quotient is the limit of the limits of the individual quotients do you, do you understand so so that is how you have to say whenever you talk about the quotients you should mention that the limit of denominator 
howsoever it may exist, but it should not be zero since you cannot divide by zero, right? So that is the kind in which you should be describing this, right? The sixth one here is that the limit of a power is power of the limit, right? And this one is that the limit of a root is root of the limit, right? And of course that that within the radical sign that should be valid, correct? If it is square root, right? So it has to be greater than or equal to zero. Correct. Only then you can apply these laws. I hope these laws are self-explanatory, but the only thing which I want to say here is their order is not important. Even, uh, you know, they, they, there could be different properties mentioned in different books, uh, but most of the time what I've seen is that we have these seven and these two combined, right? I'm just calling them uh, basic limits, but they could be combined with the properties. They're also kind of properties for the limits. And this is the limit of a constant, right? So it's a constant, limit is always constant. And limit of x is a, it's a line, correct? So, so that's very basic. And from here, we actually can find limits of other functions. And the very basic question which comes to is limit of a function as x approaches a necessarily. Uh, you sh is not what the value of the function at that point, correct? But in case the function is continuous at that point, then it is the same. Uh, and this limits and the basic concepts help you to understand the concept that you can actually substitute the value of a in a function if it is valid, right? And if it is continuous at that point. So we'll discuss that part in in basic limits also. But I hope the concept is clear to you that the, there are few properties of limits normally numbered seven in every book. And they may be combined in a different way. An idea here is to describe them as sum of limits, difference of limits, product with a constant, product of limits, quotient of limits, limit of power and limit of roots. So that description is good enough uh, to while you're solving limits using properties of limits. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.